What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at the Carl's Place Premium Impact Golf Screen. Uh, this is my two year review. I've had this screen in service in my golf simulator for the past two years. I put it in in January of 2020 and I played hundreds if not thousands of rounds up here all together on uh, this is GS Pro that's loading up. So we're going to load it up, let you guys take a look at the screen with the lights off and my system set up and ready to play. So I'll just go ahead and load up a course. Um, anyone in particular you guys want to see? Maybe that'll look good. Let's pull up a famous one. Now oh, there's Pebble. We're really just doing this to show you guys what the screen looks like with the uh, golf simulator software, GS Pro and swinging. I'm going to cut the sound off so you guys can hear me. All right, so this is hole one of Pebble Beach. So let's go up, take a close look at the screen. Like I said, it's two years old and um, you're looking right at it here. It is a 16 uh, by nine uh, screen and I do have a few uh, places on it that have been damaged. I'll show those to you and tell you what happened. But all in all, this is the screen with the lights off and the simulator running. Um, that's the direct impact zone you're looking at uh, right in the middle there. So we'll get up close to it and I'll show you a few marks that you couldn't probably notice from before. But this guy here, what happened was I believe one of the balls had a Sharpie mark on it, which is a big no-no in simulator golf clean your balls. Good rule for simulator golf and life. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lights on and let you take a look at what it looks like. All right, so here's the impact zone main hitting area. You can definitely see some uh, ball marks. You see that black mark I pointed out when the lights were off. And two years of wear on the screen. This is the premium version of Carl's Place impact screens. It's the main hitting zone you're looking at there. You can see the latest shot I hit lift, leaves a little indention in the screen until the next, next shot comes down. I'll come over here to the right and show you the screen here is very new, very fresh, because not, honestly not many balls have hit over here compared to as we start to go towards the hitting zone, you can see more and more ball marks. So those discolorations on the screen you see through here uh, that's not the actual dirty ball. It's a, people have said it's a friction burn that kind of leaves the indentation in the screen. It is normal. It does happen. Cut the lights back off one more time, give you guys a comparative look. And the screen pops right back to life. Of course, it depends on your projector, which will take a quick shot of mine. It's up here sits about nine feet away from the screen. It's an Optima, I believe it's the 1080 HDR short throw. I believe there's a newer version out of that projector now. That's 16 feet by nine feet tall. And that's the unit. I've mentioned I had a few places of damage and those were my fault. At the bottom, you see my homemade ramp really just a piece of plywood on some two by fours with some uh, Home Depot carpet stapled to it. And that's a little extra piece of uh, turf direct flooring I had left over from the install here that I've just added here for a little extra protection on the wood ramp from the main hitting zone. So we come down here, oops, my shadow's in the way, but the very bottom, see this patch, I ripped the bottom the reason I did that was my ramp was not high enough. Low hit balls hit the bottom of the ramp and over time went right through one of the grommets. So 
Carl's Place was great with their customer support. They sent me a section uh, of impact screen to match that and I sewed it on. And since I've done that with some heavy duty needles and thread I bought off Amazon, it's worked like a champ. I raised the ramp up about four inches to completely cover the bottom of the screen. So that would be my biggest piece of advice. If you guys are doing a DIY Carl's Place install, so make sure you protect the bottom of the screen. I believe their newest screens even come with protection on the bottom. So I'd probably recommend investing in that. Uh, the screen seems to show no signs of breaking down anytime soon. I'm certainly nowhere near replacing it with the look like this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my two year review of the Carl's Place Premium Impact Golf Screen. Thanks guys, see you around.